Hello again. It's the last day of hot weather in the southeast, for now at least, before cooler temperatures that we've got elsewhere move in overnight. Ahead of that, we've got a risk of severe thunderstorms. Cold front crosses the country through Tuesday. It's slowly edging its way southeastwards. Along this front, a lot of cloud, some patchy rain for northwest England into parts of Wales, mainly over the higher ground. And behind the weather front, well, brighter skies for western Scotland and Northern Ireland, but a few showers into here. And ahead of the cold front, we start to draw up hot and humid air for East Anglia in the southeast. Couldn't rule out a shower for Tuesday afternoon, but uh, where well, we've got the sunshine, temperatures of 20, 33 or 34 degrees. That heat then setting off some thunderstorms. You can see by five o'clock those thunderstorms pushing into southern and southeastern counties of England before making their way into East Anglia. Frequent lightning, hail, very gusty winds possible, particularly in the far southeast, and perhaps some heavy bursts of rain as well. Uncertainty about their exact location and intensity and so on, as is always the case with thunderstorms. But they do move out of the way overnight, and then clearer spells follow for much of the country. Further showers into western parts of Britain as we begin Wednesday. After a humid night in the southeast, though, We'll see much fresher air across the country during Wednesday. And behind this occluded front, we've got quite unstable air moving in. So uh, areas of showers across western Scotland, pushing into then western parts of England and Wales as we go through Wednesday. Those showers making their way into the rest of Scotland, northern England, much of Wales, southwest England and northern Ireland. Sunny spells and scattered showers. But for central and eastern parts of England, well, after the overnight thunderstorms, it's a largely dry day. We avoid the showers here, sunny spells, but much fresher. Temperatures down by 10 degrees or so in a few spots. More details on the Met Office website and the app, of course. You can keep up to date with all the developments through the Met Office social media channels. Bye-bye.